Hello guys, you can see that there is a Pelton turbine and today I am going to show you how to make this Pelton turbine in SOLIDWORKS. So let's begin. At first click here, select part and click OK. Now go to sketch and from here select top plane and click on sketch. Now select line and from the center point draw a line. Enter. Now again select line. Select one line. Then another one. And another one. Okay. Now with smart dimensions and this length will be 42.33 millimeter. 42.33 millimeter and it will be 21.7 millimeter. The midline will be 14.82 millimeter and the smallest one will be 8.47 millimeter. Now again go to smart dimensions and this will be 16.92 millimeter. The mid distance will be 14.82 millimeter and the last one will be 10.58 millimeter. Okay. Now select spline and from this last point, plus spline, select these points. Okay. Join the last point. Select. Now select trim entities and trim these lines. <laughs> okay. Now go to features and click on extruded boss or base. And make uh, select this line, make is make it 180 degree, and change the direction. Okay. Now go to reference geometry. Just click here, select plane, and click on this arrow, and from here select right plane. Okay, and make this one. 12.7 so make it 12.7 millimeter the plane okay now click on mirror and select this plane and for features select this object okay so this one has been mirrored now Go to shell and click here and the shell parameter will be 1.7 millimeter. Okay. Okay, now select front plane, sketch. Click on space bar and click on normal tool. Now Select line and select one line and again select line. Okay. Select and select spline and from this point draw spline. Okay. Now go to features and click on extruded cut and just pull this one. Okay. Now this part have been cut, so we'll mirror this part. So click on mirror and for face select this plane. For features 
just click here and select the cut extrude okay now this portion is also removed okay now select right plane space bar normal to okay again space bar normal to okay now click this portion and click on uh, go to sketch and click on convert entities okay now click sketch control z okay uh, click this portion convert entities Z. Okay, uh, my plan select this portion on what entities. Okay, no problem. Uh, select right plan sketch. Normal to and again. Okay, click here. Now convert it. It's now convert it. Now just uh, just bring this one little bit downward. Okay, control Z. Uh, just bring this one little bit downward. Okay, now. Okay. Now select line. And from this point, draw a line. Okay, draw one line and another line. Now horizontal line. Okay. Now three point arc. Okay, we'll draw it later. Uh, click this one. Control Z. Okay. Uh, click this arc and click on offset entities and make this distance 0 0.5. Okay. Control Z. Uh, offset entities 0 0.5 and make it reverse direction. Okay. Now select. Okay. Now delete this one. Delete now select line and from this point the one line the one now horizontal line select now select this arc fix this one okay and now go to smart dimensions and Skip smart dimensions and make this one 38 millimeter. Now this one 21.17 millimeter. Now 14.82 millimeter. Okay. Now select three point arc. Now just join these two points and we can arc okay now go to features and click on extruded boss or base and this length will be just 4.2 millimeter okay now click on mirror entities <laughs> and select this face plane and for features like this one okay now click on fillet entities and make this one point five millimeter now click here now on this portion uh, this side and in this side here 
this edge this edge this edge and this edge and this is the last edge okay okay now right plane sketch not right plane actually the plane one plane one plane one sketch space bar normal to okay not in this way sketch space bar normal to again okay, space bar normal to now select circle and horizontally draw a circle check this one okay it is in plane one space bar normal to again space bar normal to okay now go to smart dimensions and it will be 120 millimeter and from this point to this center point it will be 63 millimeter okay now go to features click on extrude boss or base and from here select mid plane and it will be 30.48 millimeter okay now select mirror and select this outer outer surface and go to bodies to mirror and select this one exit okay uh right plane sketch okay. uh go to features okay exit go to okay. linear pattern circular pattern select parameter select this outer circle and click on bodies and select this one and it will be 15 so make it 15 okay okay now click this plane at this plane okay we are almost finished just some modification is left now click here sketch and click on spacebar then normal to and go to features okay sketch circle okay draw a circle okay uh, smart dimensions and it will be 5 millimeter okay now go to features extruded cut it will be 3 millimeter okay again click here sketch spacebar normal to uh, circle draw a circle okay smart dimensions and it will be 40 millimeter okay go to features now expect boss surface it will be 5 millimeter okay now go to other side click here sketch spacebar then normal to then select circle and draw a circle smart dimension and it will be 85 millimeter just exact the opposite side okay features extruded cut it will be 3 millimeter 
cut. Okay. I can click here, sketch, space bar, normal to circle. Draw a circle. Okay, smart dimensions. And it will be 40 millimeter. Okay, go to features, extrude boss or base, and it will be 5 millimeter. Okay, I can click here, sketch, space bar, normal to, and select circle, and from the center draw a circle. Okay, go to smart dimensions, and it will be. 10 millimeter. Go to features, click on extruded cut and it will be so all. Okay. Okay, our Pelton turbine is complete. Now just let's apply the material. Okay, just click here and go to metal, then steel. And from steel, I am just selecting carbon steel. Okay. Now let's apply the color. And just I am selecting this color. Okay. Now make perspective. And then change background. Top. Yes. Our Pelton turbine is complete. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new, press the like button, make comment if you have any question and if you like or dislike this one also you can make comment and don't forget to share with your friends. Thank you.